I don't know what it is, but making your own pizza crust seems to be like the most intimidating part or a little bit too hard, which is why we always just skip it and order delivery. But y'all, this recipe is so easy. You don't have to worry about hours of rising and proofing and any of that. Plus, it starts with everything you have probably on hand, and even if you don't, it's only gonna cost a couple bucks to buy it all. I've got a cup of warm water, and to that I'm going to add one packet of yeast and then one teaspoon of sugar. The sugar is going to actually feed the yeast. We're gonna give it a little stir. We're gonna let that sit for about five to 10 minutes and it's gonna start to activate and you'll see it get nice and foamy on top. That's what we want. No mixer, no problem. This all will work just fine in a regular large mixing bowl and you can just stir it by hand. In the meantime, I'm gonna measure two and one quarter cup of bread flour into a big bowl. Bread flour has a slightly higher protein content than all-purpose flour, but all-purpose will totally work here. To the flour, I'm gonna stir in a teaspoon of salt. Once our yeast is ready to go, we'll add it to the flour. It's got that beautiful foam. I just love the smell. It's like, it's like the smell of homemade bread with a little bit of beer, you know what I mean? All right, we're gonna add our yeast and sugar water mixture. And to that, we'll add in a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Get our trusty old dough hook. I feel sorry for this guy, he never gets used. And then just let it mix until it's smooth. It should start to really pull away from the sides of the bowl. And that's it. We have our nice stretchy dough. You definitely wanna let it relax a little bit. Our dough is rested for about five minutes and now you're gonna turn it onto a floured surface and then just shape it out. This dough is so tender. It's not like what you get from the grocery store where you're like having to pull and pull. Before you get it to where it's your final shape, you're gonna place it on some parchment. This is gonna help us get it to the oven, to the pizza stone easier. If you don't have a pizza stone, that's also okay. A regular sheet tray will work just fine. I do recommend kind of preheating it in the oven when it comes to cooking pizza. The hotter the oven, the better. All right, we've got our pizza shaped on our parchment. Top it however you want. I'm gonna do this first pizza, all American. Little sauce, little pepperoni, little cheese. Once your pizza's built, you can just take your parchment and slide it onto a sheet tray. And then that makes transportation to the oven super easy. You'll just slide the parchment onto the pizza stone. Just for fun, while that pizza was cooking, I whipped up another batch in just a regular bowl to show you that you don't have to have a mixer. We can make at least three whole pizzas, crust and toppings included, for the same price. We could just buy one large one from down the street. Let it rest. I don't know if this could be any more perfect. Y'all, look at it. It's crusty, golden brown on the outside, even golden on the inside. Is it crisp? Let's see. Mission accomplished. This was nothing more than a little flour and water less than 30 minutes ago. Faster than takeout, way cheaper. Mm. This crust recipe is so easy, you can crank pizzas out all night long. Your pizza night just got a whole lot easier, cheaper, and more fun. See you next time. A little messy.